Well, tonight, Ellicott City's Main Street is officially back open. It's the first time you can travel the entire stretch since Memorial Day weekend when this deadly flooding ravaged the historic town. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live there right now. He is covering this milestone in a rather quick recovery effort. Mike? <laughs> That's right, Denise, but there's still a lot of more work to be done. We've seen a lot of cars, a lot of people here. This is the main way that you get between Baltimore and Howard counties. Business owners are hoping it will increase the foot traffic. Uh, so far, 60 businesses have reopened. Some 15 are not coming back at all. Main Street in Ellicott City has now officially opened again. More than seven weeks after deadly floods devastated the historic Howard County Business District. It's still got the, the original charm, you know, and I, I'm glad that that has not gone away. And it's nice to see that there's some life. There's people walking around and some of these businesses are reopening or new businesses are coming. Business owner Pam Long is optimistic about the future. We're a great team down here. It's a wonderful community and I'm excited for the future. Oh, I opened the shop here 18 years ago. Michelle Kim, who has long run an art gallery here, thought of leaving, but decided to stay put. I did not want to leave this place because I love this old Ellicott City. The reopening of Main Street is a soft one. No grand ribbon cuttings, and that's by design, as many businesses here are still struggling to recover. There's a lot of work still to be done. The county executive says he supports emergency legislation that's expected to pass next week. It would put a moratorium on building in the Tiber River watershed. Many believe development has been a factor in two deadly floods here in the past two years. I think there's no question in my mind that development contributed to the problem. I don't think there's any question, especially when you have well over half, maybe up to 80% of the development that's been there was done well before I was in office, but a lot of it was done even when there were no stormwater regulations at all. Now, there are still some boarded up businesses here, and they're going to be providing security around the clock, especially now that the street has reopened there. And we've been talking about the work that needs to be done. There are more than a dozen businesses that plan to come back, although they're not fully finished cleaning up at this point. Live in Ellicott City, Mike Helgren, WJZ. All right, thank you very much, Mike. Now, the May flooding killed National Guard Sergeant Eddie Herman. He died while trying to rescue a woman in the rising waters.